Hi, this is Lightman and Alvin again. This time, this is with the 1979 Kenner brand Dubak creature from Star Wars: A New Hope. And uh, I got this one loose because the other one that I had, the legs are busted off because this one, it's it's all hollow. The whole thing's hollow. And I still had the harness from that one, so I just put it on the the new loose one that I bought. Uh, the only thing it's missing is the stormtrooper and the reins that go on it. I think it was just like a loop that went around its neck and then two reins that he could hold. This is pretty well what it is. A lot of people don't like this one because uh, it's not very mo movie accurate, at least not to the, uh, I think it was 1994 New Hope remake when they redid it. There's his belly. Made in Hong Kong. It's got the little belt thing. You can undo it. And it's got the little notches. Pretty well, no matter which way it stands, it's only going to look good with all four of the legs down like that. Unless he's a sunbathing like this. And I think th they're called dewbacks is because they're like these reptile creatures and they, when they're in the desert, <clears throat> somehow their scales collect up dew and the other ones in the herd lick it off the other one's back. That's why they're called dewbacks. Anyway, I like this one's face, and if you move his tail, his head moves. Move his head, his tail moves. And then he also has that trap door thing that also the Tauntaun had. Or you can, you put the guy's feet in there, so it looks like feet. That little lump right there, I guess, is supposed to be his foot. It's more apparent on the Tauntaun creature. Also, this is the only dude back that has hair. For some strange reason, he's like a mammal and he's a reptile. But uh, since the expanded universe and everything, it mentioned why they're called dewbacks, and it mentions that they are indeed reptiles and they lay eggs and they're easily domesticated. Uh, the the Tuscan Raiders they eat them for some reason. That's why the Tusk Raiders' uh, creature of choice is the Bantha. But anyway, that was just my little uh, bonus review. I have another creature. This thing. Which is called the Diagona. This is also Kenner. The only way you're going to get this creature, I mean, I'm sure you can get it loose on eBay, but the only way you're going to get it is buy the giant playset of the Death Star for the Kenner figures. It has the elevator, it has a trash compactor, it has that giant turret gun on the top, it has the bridge that Luke and Leia swing across, it has like everything, basically. But this creature, he's all rubber. Uh, you only see like that much of it in the movie but this is what it looks like it looks a little bit different in the Shadows of the Empire video game for the Nintendo 64 because they're orange in that game and you fight a giant one in that and they make that sound and it's really scary but anyway there's his mouth it's got a little fin with the little octopus like legs pretty sure they had more legs than four but what are you gonna do you never could wrap this around the characters that good to uh, attack them. But there you go. And uh, see you guys next time.